autumn arrives, stirring up a riot of colors among diverse plants. It seems Mother Nature knocks over a pallet and turns the Keenling Mountains iridescent in October. Bidding farewell to leaves, plump kiwi fruits emerge and hang on the vines. The kiwi fruit is a liana fruit tree native to China. Actinidia is comprised of 54 species worldwide, of which 52 are found in China. 44 of them are endemic to the country. China is reputed to be the birthplace of kiwi fruit. Bountiful kiwi fruits are irresistible to the red-billed blue magpie. With long retresses, red beaks, and feet, it looks elegant and posh. The blue magpie has a habit of storing delicacies. Whenever it finds food, it hides the leftovers. Thrilled by fully loaded branches, the red-billed blue magpie chirps excitedly, hence its local moniker meaning mountain chirp. It doesn't stop to rest as it looks for a suitable hideout. to store the kiwi fruits. Ventilation and dryness are necessary conditions for long-term storage to prevent spoilage. Leaves provide the best cover. Such a disguise is to keep other lurking animals away. As autumn deepens, fallen leaves pile up under the trees. No one knows which leaf is deliberately placed to conceal a kiwi fruit. Maybe not even the blue magpie who masters the trick of hiding fruits. Yet many of its neighbors are lucky enough to effortlessly obtain the fruits of the blue magpie's labor. Some have been coveting them since the blue magpie started storing. This is all too clear. The red-billed blue magpie works hard to store food. It doesn't even calculate how much it consumes. It's instinctive. Over time, those forgotten kiwi fruits stay and sprout in the next year. The red-billed blue magpie hoards fruit by nature, not knowing that itself accidentally doubles as a sower. The unintentional service of red-billed blue magpies helps kiwi fruits to go viral in the mountains.